All right, gents, 5152 uh, Grove Road. Um, little ranch here. Real close to uh, Cassie Village right there, so. You guys are walking to lunch again, so that's sweet. Um, Colt, busy road. Uh, I think Anthony's got the trailer at his house because we don't have any room for it. Uh, let's get let's get this all sanded down. I don't want to replace it. It's nice and sturdy. I think let's get it sanded down and let's. Uh, it's a little rough, but let's 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 fill this all in with caulking and let's uh, repaint this black. I think we can save it instead of. Uh, I'd have to put in like two sections of railing here and it'd get expensive and kind of weird looking with the post in the middle. So retaining walls lean a little bit, but I, I really don't have money in the budget to mess with it. Um, so it's a nice wall. It's just leaning as usual. So uh, we'll leave that go. Let's paint that. Uh, let's get a fresh coat of paint on the garage door. Um, white, I think white is fine. If any other color, black would look good. Let me, I'll make that call later, but right now I'm leaning towards just going white. Um, match the siding and the windows and everything. Um, same thing here. Just this one's actually in a lot better shape. It's not getting crushed with weather. Uh, I think this is one instance where we could leave the uh, screen door. Uh, front door is already black for us. We'll just get our new hardware on. We're gonna go. Uh, we'll go black hardware in this one, Bob. This whole house uh, smells like a dog in here. Um, and the dog screwed up all the trim. Actually, like there is just a lot of this, like everywhere. So. We are going to rip off all the base and all the casing and actually put in new doors too because the doors are, are rough everywhere as well. So we're going to get some uh, two panel doors I think from Lowe's. I think that's where we get those, those smooth ones. So um, this house is little but it's a little like just weird. Like the kitchen's really small. They did something weird in the bathroom. So um, oh, fuck, let's just start over. We'll start over in the bedrooms and bathroom. Uh, We'll get this mirror off and I'll end up doing a, uh, we'll, I'll get us a mantle to hang to hang a buff here. It'd be a good spot for a TV above the fireplace probably. So we're actually going to take up this whole entire wall and we're going to do an island here. This kitchen's going to be pretty awesome. We're we'll walking this front door and just be totally open, kind of be a cool open concept. Got some nice corner windows here, bringing a lot of light, um, but we'll go over here. Um, we're gonna leave this pedestal sink. It's really tiny in here because they, they push this wall over to make the closet deep enough for the adjacent bedroom. They even have like this weird, like this hits the wall and this like tucks back into here actually. So we're um we're gonna do a shower here actually. We're gonna we're gonna do a 30 inch by 60 inch shower pan. We're gonna we're gonna try to find and final with a center drain. And we're gonna move the wet wall over to here. This is just like really tight to like turn all this on and everything. So we're gonna move the wet wall over to here, guys. All right, it's be a lot easier just coming here, hitting it, and uh, and walking into the shower. So um, get a short bowl toilet for sure. I can't believe they have an elongated in here. Um, and then. We'll just swap, we'll just put, I think we're just gonna put all our normal light switches, get a, move this over to a white GFI, and uh, do what we normally do. We'll get a 20 by 26 cooler in here, then we'll get our light above. All right, um, got a pretty big steep transition there. I'm gonna see if John Crew can uh, see if maybe they'll take this pink pink off. I'll, I'll see how, how it goes. If not, we'll just go over top of it, and then uh, we'll just do our carpet up to there um so oh yeah so we're gonna lvt this whole entire first floor kitchen living room and then we'll we'll transition right 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 here all right that way we don't got to lvt back into the closet and everything we'll let joe carpet back into here carpet the bedrooms and we'll bounce back to lvt into the bathroom all right so 
Patterns, standard Hawkins stands, um, all new trim. Uh, change out all the pl uh, we'll change out all the plugs over to white. And yeah, if you guys want to leave this wood, I'm good with it. If it's easier to paint it white, I'm good with that too. You guys make the call on that. So uh, everything will be painted alabaster, and uh, then the trim will be the semi alabaster as usual. So same thing in here. If you guys want to leave the wood? I'm cool with that. Uh, you want to paint it, I'm cool with that too. So. Alright. All new trim and doors. We'll, let's, put a, let's put in an access panel right here. Um, unless we don't need to. Uh, you guys can make the call. I mean, we use integral shutoffs, but it's kind of nice to have that. Unless we have enough uh, access down below and we don't need it. You guys make the call on that. Um, let's eliminate this access panel in the living room. It looks pretty dumb. Uh, so we'll have to patch in that. And uh, we have to try to get that retextured into the wall. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I didn't even lay those out. How, what are we doing? Four? Four. Yeah. Four. I thought well, maybe run these whole line. We'll do one, two, three, and then two back here. Anthony, let's run. We're going to hit the. Uh, we're going to do four corners. Let's do um, four disc lights in this living room. Uh, just do your normal, like, kind of come off the wall, you know, two or three feet, whatever makes sense. Um, yeah, we'll do that. So four, four, we'll get a line of three. four right. yeah, and then we'll, then we'll, we'll put one right here too on it. It'll be on the different switch though. So this will be, this, well, this, this, uh, this is actually, this wall is going to be eliminated. So we have to figure out where, where we want to put this, uh, switch at. Look at the here. Yeah, that would be a good spot if we can do that. Uh, yeah, so Anthony, whatever your call, wherever you can run that switch. So we're going to get rid of this whole entire wall here. It's going to be an island. Um, we're going to can't leave the counter. So we'll have bar stools here because we're pretty much going to eliminate this dining room, unfortunately, because this just kitchen is just so tight and small and I, I I can't get a dishwasher in here. It's just too tight. So we're actually going to do, we're actually going to remove this marble sill and just rip down some wood so we could just, we're actually going to drywall over this window, but we're going to get um, the decal on the outside. So you can't tell. So we'll make that like really opaque. Uh, we'll leave the window on the outside and we'll frame it up on the inside and drywall it. And, um, cause yeah, I'm going to go, yeah, I'm gonna go 21 inch, and then the, the stove's basically gonna be where this window's at. And then another 21, and then my fridge is gonna be over here, um, up almost to the window, all right? So we'll have to, we'll have to do something with this. Um, probably move it out right in front of the fridge, or we'll take a look in the basement, see where we can pop it in at, all right? And then we're gonna do the, uh, we'll get the, the dishwasher and the sink over here into the island. So we'll have to, I look down below, we're clear. We'll be able to um, put it right into the same pipe it's going into right now. Shouldn't be a problem. And then, uh, yeah, so then we'll do a bubble, do another disc light here yep. and disc light here. So we're just going to hold on. Okay. All right. That should be fine. I guess we don't really, since it's all open, we won't need anything over top of the island. We'll have plenty of light. Okay. And I got these. Yeah. And these windows, this, this, this door got, it, uh, we're eliminating this window, but these windows are huge. They're pretty nice, actually. And then we got, we got more light coming through this door here. So. We will leave this screen door. Um, and just put our new deadbolt and uh, door on. All right. I didn't even look at the lights. Bob, did you see the outside lights? Yeah, I'm good with this light back here. Yeah. We'll leave this bamboo straw stuff on. It could. It's probably pretty nice for the shade. Um, we need to pick this up. So. Let's let's bump this up and get it nailed in. It just sank, I think, and they probably taped it because the bees are getting in. Um, yeah, new yard, nice yard, brand new, uh, new AC, new furnace, so we're all good there. Roof's good enough, so we're all good there. All right, nothing really to do outside. I didn't even look at the front porch light though. I was changing that one just to throw something new. Yeah. And I was going to do maybe a metal box for the light, maybe new address numbers since they're over there. Yeah. Just block it out. 
Yeah, we'll have Bob Wars mulch this, huh? Yeah. Why don't we do this, Bob? Let's go, let's do our light, and then let's do, uh, let's get, let's get rid of these, uh, this address over here. Yeah, let's move it under everything over here. And let's do the floating black right here. Yeah, with a mailbox. Yep. So, Where's the mailbox now? It's over there by the wall behind them. Uh, they might, are they making you do that? Theirs is down there, so maybe. I don't see anyone mailboxes over here. Yeah. It's probably an ordinance. So. Maybe just bolt one to the block. We'll just, yeah, let's just bolt a black one to the block. We'll get rid of that uh, that little hippie one right there. So we'll bolt it to the, to the block down by the garage like right here guys and then we'll do a vertical uh we'll do a vertical five one five two if we could i don't know if it's if it, when our our light faces down right so we'll see if we have enough room to make it look good right below it or we'll just take it over to the side wouldn't be a big deal just to rip it down here all right cool that's pretty much the out, whole outside scope of work we got the railings to paint that lantern's good out there right yeah, shit, it works. Cool. That'll just stay the same. All right. Oh, this, this basement, man. These in-between houses are harder than the uh, the extremely fucked up houses. This is just one of these... This is one of these houses that's just like... Ugh. All right. They built this wall. They built this little room. There's no closet. And then, like, this... this it's just so dated, all this. So... I'm gonna see if they can get the uh, gas meter moved outside. They usually like to do it anyways. So um, that'll look a lot better in here. Cause what I'm gonna do, believe it or not, I'm gonna, rip, I'm gonna eliminate this room. I'm actually gonna rip down, we're gonna rip down all this drywall off the ceiling. We're basically gonna like unfinish this, this basement because uh, I'm a little afraid of what kind of, I'm seeing shit like this and who knows what kind of wiring's behind these walls. And this stuff is just, I think it's just murder, they, they, the way that they did this rough thing. It just looks like, screams like 1970s or 80s, right? So I'm probably gonna have junk crew take it all the way down to the block again, and then we'll just UCG it. We'll paint all the block, we'll LVT, and uh, we'll dry fall the ceiling. We'll get some uh, disc lights down here. We, you know, we'll just make it make sense. We'll just probably, you know, pop one, um, two. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We probably need about six lights in here. We'll light it up. Um, we're going to build, I think it makes a lot of sense to get a, uh, make an actual, take advantage of this, this, uh, get another powder room down here. So we'll add a sink. And then I think I measured this. We're 12 inches off the wall, 12 or 13 inches off the wall. I think this toilet, this is just so tight like this. I think this toilet needs to turn and face us. And then we could put a little, we can mount a little, a wall mounted um, lav sink on the wall here. And we should be able to just go right into here for our drain. And uh, probably just put an air mittens valve on there or whatever underneath the sink. So we'll bring, we'll bring, uh, we'll frame this wall out. You know, once we determine we could move the toilet We'll take some measurements, but we'll, this wall will probably come out a little bit further and uh, we'll get a door on here. Um, oh yeah, Bob, you're probably gonna wanna add like a, uh, we could probably put a third, uh, a door. Shop, yeah. yeah, we could probably just get, if they, if they sell 28s, get a 20. We'll figure that out when I get you. Yeah, all right, we'll, we'll figure that out. Um, they started to frame this out. I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna have this wall. I think this, what I want to do here, guys, is I want this wall to be in line with this pipe. So this will go this way. So we'll, we'll remove this two by four. And I think, so we'll have to bring this one out just a little bit further to make it in line with this pipe. And I think what we do here is we'll probably have to get one of those, I, I think, get one of those three three track systems and I think we'll need like three 32 inch door slabs and we'll put it like on a on a slider system so we could hide all these mechanicals um Bob those could just be flat because we're gonna have to cut them down yeah, so those would be flat panel, flat panel, flat panel. yeah so we could just make all these flat panel down here yeah. so they match 
All right, um, so this room's gonna be eliminated. We are gonna keep this wall. So there was like a garden hoe laying around um, and I already kind of knocked down this, if you can see this, over to like that jaggedy. It's it's not terrible at all, so I, I like, let's, let's, I hate this. Let's move this light switch, or we probably don't even need this light switch anymore. Cause, cause yeah, we, we won't even need this anymore. So we'll get rid of this. Um, let's keep this wall right here cause it's the laundry wall. And this, this, I think there's duct work. There's duct down here. So we'll probably have to keep this wall too. And then we'll just, from here on over, I'm gonna just take down all this. There's some mold and stuff going on down there. So I just, I, I'd just rather just let it breathe. So we'll just, uh, I'll probably have John Cruz take all this down, take the ceiling down, and uh, we'll put in new new windows, glass block. Um, so yeah, all this will be open. And this will be all LVT down here. We'll stop the LVT right here. We'll just paint back in, we'll paint, we'll repaint the floor back here, laundry room, we'll get rid of this washer and dryer. Sink's good, we'll just keep the sink, all right? Let's get one, uh, we'll relocate this light. We'll, let's get it like somewhere centered, like somewhere in here. One one disc light should light this whole area up fine. Um, another thing guys, they, believe it or not, they poured concrete, which is, I, I, I was down this, we me and Bob were down this basement for about 45 minutes just scratching our head on what to do here. Um, what we came up with is it's level. So let's, Basically, um, we'll pour more concrete here to level this out. Let's just float it. So we'll need a float probably like from here-ish over into here. But it goes to nothing. I, I poked my, uh, I poked a hole right here. So the plate is on the ground here. So it shouldn't be too, too bad. And then at least the floor will be level. It looks like it just floated in the blue paint. Yeah. So we probably don't, we could probably leave this on level. Well, it's gone to the drain. Right? There's the drain. We, we, we've, been, we've been covering those. We've been clogging them drains. We have, we have a drain in the garage. So I think we I think we kill that drain. And we just, uh, yeah. So that way we're back up. It's coming in the garage, not into our finished game room. Uh, this room is good, actually. We'll just paint the walls. These shelves are great. It's a nice pantry. I did a nice job on them, actually. So... Let's just uh, paint in between, I think, and uh, we can rip the ceiling that, uh, down and just probably just dry fall like the rest of it, all right? So again, I think, I know it might sound crazy that we're like definishing, but I just, I think we just kind of have that nice clean UCG basement, just block walls, uh, dry fall ceiling. We'll drop down our uh, electrical. Everyone seems to dig that. Um, dry fall out all the ductwork, get rid of all this, all these two by fours and stuff. So, you know, reuse what you can use, you know, uh, maybe I'll have junk crew just take all the plaster down. Maybe we'll, we'll reuse two by fours where we need to, uh, like framing this stuff up or, uh, or whatever. We'll see if we, we need a bunch of studs are cook. Do we? Okay. All right. Well, we'll play that by ear. If these studs are clean and we could reuse them, let's just reuse them, build this, uh, build this bathroom out. Um, it does that we'll get the we're gonna carpet the steps unfortunately this wall obviously so this is gonna stay we don't want to be staring at a hot water tank when we get at the bottom of the steps so let's just knock this down guys and they, they kind of blended it right here you could either put in a transition strip like a one by four right here or just go ahead and knock this down we're gonna knock this down as best we can anyways maybe we just retexture it so maybe just retexture the whole thing or just throwing like a one by four, like I said. Actually, this baseboard, if we put a new baseboard here, this baseboard can actually just come all the way across and you can kind of kill two birds with one stone. Um, that's right where our transition is. So if you guys want to do that, I'm cool with that. That'd be, that's an idea. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess might as well, uh, let's finish this drywall. Looks a little rough, we'll finish it in paint. This FRP is probably not a bad idea. And this is actually, on FRP, but it's that shiny stuff like like whiteboard shit. Um, 
Probably not a bad idea for the splash, so we can actually leave that up. All right. Um, that is a duck chase right there. So we have, we have to leave that chase back there for sure. Um, that's really it. We got the garage. Oh well, yeah, we got a window over there. We'll put in a new we got two glass block, Bob, or three? We got, we got nothing in here. This, uh, it seems to me like they just painted this not too long ago. Like it's still got a nice shine. There's just a little bit of black. I don't know if it's mold or dirt, but I say with this M MR86, this wall and just not even paint. It'd be a nice, nice clean black line here. Um, I'll just leave it. Everything's pretty clean here. They had a clean, a clean pump out. They got conduit running. Everything kind of nice and clean. Let's just leave it. We'll leave this cabinet. It's the only cabinet in here. It, it works, it's nice, it's good for storage. Um, we'll leave all these hooks and stuff. We can leave the broom and you know, whatever. We can leave the shovel if the guy, if the people want it. Nice shovel. Um, yeah, I mean, those clips are nice. So kind of leave this, leave this kind of as is. We got a ceiling, so we're good. Um, if you want to change this out to a disc light, I don't know. That's probably what we do. All right, we'll do that. Um, does this garage door work? Do we have any keys in there? Mm -hmm. Look at the butt right there. Just the same thing, it should work. What was it? Mm -hmm. Top right, right? How the hell do we? Uh, right here. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that looks good. Getting a little beat up, but. Yeah. I don't know if there's any rust oil we want to paint on this to try to stop, prevent some any more corrosion, but this this garage door's in good shape. Oh shit, we'll have to figure out what this is. Like it might be in sheets. It might be, yeah. Right. We'll try to figure out all this info. Alright guys, that's uh that's Grove Road. Yeah. That does it. I'm sure there'll be some quirky stuff we find. But uh yeah, that'll do it.